And for the third straight year, it's LCC and VASJ, the rubber match. Senior Trey Cobbs was banged up last season. This year, he's 100% healthy, and he made sure everyone knew it in the first quarter. The runner gets the birds on the board, then the senior buries the long two. Later in the first, the three is up and good from the other side. Cobb scores nine in the first quarter. T-Birds lead 11-10 after one. Second quarter, more of the same. Another Trey from Trey. Number five scores 12 of his team's first 14 points. Vikings keeping pace and leading by one with three minutes left in the first half. Ethan O'Connor brings down the offensive rebound and puts it back. 20-19, LCC leads. Then it's the D3 player of the year, Dantez Walton getting in on the fun. He knocks down the three, extending the lead to four. Other end, Vikings respond. Sherman Dean answers with a triple, making it a one-point game again. Final minute of the second quarter. Watch the ball movement by LCC. Tafflinger to O'Connor to Walton to Thomas Williams wide open underneath. 27-24, Birds. The ASJ holds for the final shot of the quarter. Gene Higgins works out of a double team, hits the leaner as time expires. Lima Central Catholic leads 27-26 at the half. Any momentum from that buzzer beater did not carry over into the third quarter. LCC came out fast. First, Walton steps back and buries the jumper. More good outside shooting. Cobbs from downtown. He made four of five from behind the arc in the game. Then O'Connor follows suit with a three of his own, capping a 10-1 run to start the third quarter. 11 points for O'Connor. Later in the third, Williams sticks with it, adds two more. T-Birds outscore the Vikings 14-4 in the third and lead by 11, heading to the fourth. In the final eight minutes, LCC put this game away. Walton for three, making it a 14-point lead. Another double-double for the future Northern Kentucky Norseman, 20 points and 11 rebounds in his final high school game. Cobbs kept his big night going in the fourth as well. A team-high 24 points, six rebounds, and four assists. T-Birds haven't played too many close games this season, and this one wasn't close either. Tafflinger puts the exclamation point on the win. LCC victorious, 66-44. Believe it or not, 22 points is their smallest margin of victory this postseason. A dominating second half performance helps the Birds claim their third state title, all coming since 2010. Going into halftime, we knew we didn't play our best half, and we, we actually said it was probably our worst half of the tournament. So we came around third quarter, and we've always been a third quarter team that we just we jump on them, and once we jump on them, and they they just don't respond. They can't respond. We uh, calmed down when we went to the locker room. Uh, our nerves was kind of high, so we had to calm down. Kill gave us a nice little pep talk in the locker room, and we came out, played our defense, and you guys seen what happened in the third quarter. Woo! Ah, oh, man, you know, you talk about a game of just emotions. Uh, and I thought uh, coming out of the gate, you know, I, I felt like we were tight. I thought that championship uh, pressure was kind of there. You know, when you have a group of seniors that are just focused and poised, we got back to that locker room, and I saw a bunch of guys that, uh, you know, came out and said we were going to be hungry, we were going to be thirsty. Talk about being lion-hearted the entire season. Um, we came out and just got stops. We got rebounds. We contested every shot. How many people get this opportunity, first off? You know, just by the grace of God, he got us back here, you know. We worked for it all all year, and uh, we came out successful with it. Yeah, they're a great team. So uh, at the beginning of the year, we, we figured that uh, Coach Kwasniak could bring these guys back down. But uh, this year is also different. Me and Trey had to uh, play a huge leadership role this year, and I think we did well at that. And these guys put more more time into their game than a lot of kids. And there's a reason why we're holding this, this hardware here today because they were determined. Uh, you know, in 2014, they both had roles, uh, you know, backup roles, whether it's rebound, take care of the ball, defend, typically third or fourth option. Yeah, these guys are one, two. I mean, there's no particular order because any given night, it could, he could be one or he could be one. After coming off the shoulder surgery, I, I honestly didn't think I would, you know, be this player I am today. But I put the hard work in and, the, you know, the time, the dedication, and uh, the, re the results are showing. Unbelievable. And we know as a team, if we're struggling or anything like that, just get the ball in trade hands and he'll finish the job for you. I feel like a couple, you know, the state of Ohio overlooked me, you know. And uh, I've just been playing with a chip on my shoulders. And uh, it's been successful, you know. It really helped me, you know, get more motivated to, you know, do better. He is, he is proving everyone wrong who's not. I mean, who's not believing in him. Um, I mean, the way he played semifinals and the state finals, if he's not a Division One player, I don't know what is. We just, I just want to thank the seniors that, that were out there with me because I wasn't the only one leading this team, and especially uh, Trey Cobbs, Josh Dixon, and Ethan O'Connor, and Nick Tanner.
It's been good to our family. I was just done telling my dad. Like, he's got three rings. I have two. Aiden has one. Tyler has one. And my sister has one. So, yeah, we play uh, pretty well in Columbus. No, we never felt like we was going to doubt ourselves. Uh, we always knew that our main goal was to win a state title. And that's what we came out here and did today. And we all played our uh, parts in our defense, and we came out victorious today. We continue to play together, but most importantly, we play for each other, play for Lima Central Catholic. You two are the most successful senior class in your school's history. A perfect example of them doing everything together was when that lady called uh, the seniors up to receive the trophy. The seniors didn't want to do it by themselves. They wanted their team with them. You know, and that's... That's, uh, that's the kind of the classy guys that they have. That they didn't want to have all the accolades by themselves. They wanted, they wanted to make sure that the team felt this. You know, they've been total team players the entire time. And, you know, as a coach, you know, kind of a father figure to them, I try to teach them, you know, the important things in life and just continue to embrace everybody, not just themselves. Heading back for home last year, uh, the seniors knew right away we weren't going to have this, you know, the, the, face, the faces that we had in that van. And uh, we worked for it as soon as we got back. and. Uh, Put in the time and work, and uh, it was also shown. Last year, we had our heads down, as you've seen in the newspaper, which we hold up in our locker room, uh, to, so we can remind ourselves on that feeling we had. And then this year, uh, you, you guys probably heard us in the locker room cheering, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Quaz and I go way back, you know, obviously the last three years to, at the championship level, and it's been a great relationship. And, so we knew that we, we were going to see some different looks. You know, obviously the zone slowed us down, but once we got into rhythm with defense um, and just kind of warmed down, you know, that's what we've been doing all season long. You know, I think you said it best the other, the other night. You know, a, a, a typical you know LCC fashion of defense uh, of wearing teams down, and it's what we did.